hi and welcome back to my channel this is april welcome to art by april in today's video we are going to be looking at all the sketches i've been doing since i've gotten a little bit more energy and i've caught up with a lot of work and i just wanted to share that with you guys your girl is back okay your girl is back i got a little mm. Going from absolutely no energy to a little bit of energy is just like, I just started like, what? I just started a good dozen sketches, but. All right, I love you too. I've done um, almost all my rounds of iron infusions. If you've been following me on Instagram, I, I try to post on there. Tomorrow, Friday is my last iron infusion and hopefully I be feeling 100% by next week. Hopefully. There are children cursing outside. Interesting. Feels really good to like get back in the flow of art and just being able to sketch again and you're just I didn't realize how boring and sad my life was without art until I stopped doing it. Of course when you don't do art you have like eight thousand ideas and then when you start again you're like, What was that idea? What was I doing? You see my my one blonde lock? <laughs> it looks so cute. It looks so cute. Things are pretty much calm here. Like, I don't know. Quarantine is just... It's been real sucky. Is y'all still struggling with quarantine? I'm so boring. Oh, one of the ideas I had was to do like a series of portraits. Surprise, surprise but for the background to be african print like Af african fabric print and then the the foreground just to be the portrait of a woman but you know and have it blend in with her clothing like the clothing to be the fabric as well i kind of have to think about the logistics of that in my mind it's amazing but who knows is what I feel like if I get the first one out I can really figure out what would be the problems and what would be a good way to get it down as an image but hmm, I don't know I miss I miss making YouTube videos and I thought that was kind of weird because I don't think I'm very good at it but like I miss it also, I feel like I don't have enough energy for these videos. Like, it, it you know, you want to keep it entertaining and flowing, and then it's just like, then I'm just talking like, la 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 sleep. Oh, but I did order this. Uh, I did order this shirt. If it's gonna show, I don't know if it's gonna show. I feel like I'm just showing my boobs now. But it's the Kiki delivery service. I don't know if you guys have seen. Watch the watch the movie watch the movie it's, it's such a cute movie I'm just, i feel like i'm such a 90s child because i'm st i'm like 30 and i'm still wearing graphic tees with my favorite shows on it like um also another idea i wanted to do was like interpreting like the black lives movement into my art a little bit more i was thinking about some jewelry I think one of the sketches I have the Black Lives Movement as a necklace. I do want to do some earrings. So when I do portraits, there's a little message on there about Black Lives Movement on there. Did I say Black Lives Movement? I meant Black Lives Matter. That's what that's what the necklace says. Oh wow, I might be more tired than I think. I think that'd be really cool and interesting. I know I've seen it a lot on shirts and shirt designs, but I want to see more like accessories, something, something subtle, but it's there. And also I wanted to, my art to represent the time that I made it. Hmm. Just a little thought, just a little thought. I am pretty thankful for those who had to wait for their art to, like for me to get back to them on their little art pieces and stuff during this time just because it took me a little longer than I had once told them so 
All right, and also thank you for your patience. Also grateful for those who bought prints during this time because it was a little, a little bit of income really helps. And I didn't actually have to personally package it and send it out while I was not feeling my best. That is one of the upsides of having like a, a Society6 or a Redbubble account. I don't have to follow up on those orders. I don't have to do customer service for those. I don't have to worry about shipping and making sure they received it and making sure it got to them undamaged and things like that. But I appreciate those who support your girl. Just glad that I'm back in a, a better space and I'm sketching again and because I, I feel like trash when I'm not doing art. End of statement. Now I just have to get back in the flow of doing these YouTube videos and um, if you guys have any ideas for these YouTube videos, you want me to talk about something in particular, you want me to discuss something, you want me to show you something, let me know in the comments because I really... I did, I, mostly I've been just kind of showing you what I've been doing with my artwork and maybe that's not as entertaining as it could possibly be or informative. I, I feel like I can't really explain much to you. Maybe that's a lie, but I can try. So I, I, I would like this, this channel to be entertaining and informative, mostly entertaining because I feel like when art sets up rules, then you just, you got to break those rules. Oh, you telling me how to draw a nose? Okay, well, I'm gonna draw a nose the real way. I'm gonna practice your way. And then I'm gonna break those rules and I'm gonna start drawing noses my way. Is that just me? So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.